In this article, you'll learn how to create an article and publish it. Under Articles, click the drop-down and you're going to click New. Here, you see you have the option of Regular or Featured. Featured is reserved for the must-read items for district or buildings. What that does is it puts a red bar on the top and also will be, it will show, be shown in the first orientation of the news feed for that particular day. So we'll go ahead and put a test title. As you can see, you have a what you see is what you get editor, similar to Word. All of these are pretty self-explanatory. Here you can actually link to and display an image URL. So if you go to Google Images, right click on an image and select copy link, you can put it right here. You can also upload images. It will put it right in the body of your article. The embed code is useful for putting YouTube videos inside of your article. This is creating a hyperlink and removing a hyperlink. These two elements actually remove formatting. So if you copy and paste text from a web page or from Word, they come with what's called HTML code. And sometimes there are many formatting elements that can make the text look as if you do not want it to look. So you can remove it using this. One of the tricks I use is to copy that data into Notepad. It actually clears all formatting for you. So whatever your preference. Background and foreground, these are actually colors. Your font types and font faces. The sizes. And this actually shows the underlying HTML for an article. So if you have YouTube embed, to embed code, excuse me, you can click the show H and it will show you that embed code so you can remove it if you wish. The add images, when you select an image under add image, that image is what is used for the front facing image in the news feed. It also is the top image of your article. The Publish To enables you to target a specific group. If you publish just to a specific building, only intranet users in that building will have the permissions to see your article. Classifications, those are specific job types. If you have a communication that only goes to a specific group, you can post them in here. Org units, if you want to post to your BLT or DLT, you can do that there. The notification, if you have a must-read communication that is considered a featured article, you will want to choose the Notify Everyone in the Publish To via email when published. When you check this box and click Publish, it will automatically send the information to all users, however, whomever you've targeted in these groups. They will receive that email telling them to go to Jostle and that they have an article that they need to read. It will give them the headline and a little bit of information about it. Subscribe to comments allows you to actually get comments that are posted on the article. Allow comments. I would always do yes just because it allows us to have a social platform. The preferred tiling, random is the default, which means anytime you log in, your article will likely be a different size and in a different place than it was before. However, you can specify how you want the size to be. If you use a featured article, if you select the biggest block, it is going to get the most attention from your users. So you can select this box and it will have the two rows of real estate to publish your article. If you are using a featured article with a must read and have building communication, I suggest one of these two elements. When you're finished, click publish. Mine is grayed out because I don't have anything in this box. So you see, as soon as I put something in the box, I have the ability to publish. In addition, you have the ability to save a draft. So for instance, if you want to start an article or you're working on a bulletin, you can go ahead, create it all, save it as a draft, exit, and then you can go to articles and draft and continue working. And that's all there is to it.